So here we have this General Tools Dovetail Jig. Now this jig is pretty simple, but if you're on a budget, then it'll work just fine. This comes with an instruction manual that's pretty helpful on showing how everything works. It also comes with this quarter inch shank dovetail bit with bearings on it. The jig itself is made of aluminum and it can be used with pretty much any quarter inch shank router. Or it can also be used on a router table, which I'll demonstrate later. It has these two simple clamps for holding the wood while you cut it. And then these two knobs you can screw in to use it on the router table. This also came with an aligning tool that you'll need to use if you want to cut dovetails on a board that's wider than 5 inches. Now this jig works great for half blind dovetail joints, but it's not the best for through dovetails because the ends will be rounded when it's put together. Alright, so now it's time to make some dovetails. First, I'm going to set the router height to just below the thickness of this board, but you can set it to whatever. Now center your tail boards onto these slots and clamp it down. Also, make sure the outside of your board is facing towards the clamps. Then if you're using a handheld router, clamp the board to your workbench and start routing. I'm going to be using this router table because it's much easier. And once those are cut out, you can set the depth of this sliding plastic piece to the thickness of your board using these numbers here. Now fit your tails board into here with the outside of the board like this, and then line up the inside of the pins board like this and clamp it down flush with the tails board. Then cut it out using the same router bit height as the tails. Put it together and now you have the perfect half blind dovetail joint. And it's also super tight. So if you're looking for a jig that's super easy to use for making half blind dovetails, well, here you go.